Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the HOM FPV wingsuit. I think this comes in a couple of sizes. This is a 100mm, I believe, across the motors. Let's double check that. So yeah, 100 across the motors, this. Uh, two and a half inch props. And it's got carbon fibre frame. And obviously these are plastic with the bumper guards on to protect it. So I've been a bit out of focus there. And this is what you get. This is how it comes in the box minus the Insta360 Go. But you do get the Insta360 mount with it, which is nice to see. And the mount's actually quite neat. I'll just show you that. If you look, it's actually soft mounted. A bit like the used to mount old gimbals on quads a few years ago. Um, but let me tell you, it does come off in a crash because it did come off in a crash, which is a bit, there'll be no footage from this camera. Oh, there might be a footage of about 10 seconds, I think. And that's because uh, first flight I flew and it was minus one and I didn't want my batteries open. It didn't last more than 30 seconds. So you'll see, I flew it second time, but by that time I didn't bother putting the camera back on. So it's well constructed. There's a few loads of these about now. So absolute, you wouldn't know which to pick. This is reason for doing this one is this is one of the cheapest on the market i think this comes in at under 200 with the calyx vista with a nebula unfortunately so it's got a nebula v2 on unfortunately this will be getting replaced with the pro got a review with the pro coming very very soon well as you can see it's got the nebula and i don't like the nebula cameras you'll see from the footage when it comes up everything's a little bit over saturated i'm just not that keen on the camera one of the things that's glaringly bad about this is this antenna is far too short. So when you've got the battery on here, which mounts sideways, that antenna is just far too short. As you can see, it's not high enough up. It needs one of the longer antennas. So I'm going to replace the antenna with, uh, I've got a couple of the Flywoo extra long ones that come up to about here. So I want to put one of them on and hopefully it'll improve its uh, range a little bit because the range isn't that great with that on there i've only flied only flew on 25 milliwatt today because i was just flying around at the cricket club from the video you can see so obviously i could have increased the range and gone much better so this is what you get in the pack you get these mo these motors and these are ltt motors i believe it says next and they are 1106 4500 as you can imagine this thing's ridiculously loud it really is loud. It's not an indoor thing at all. You need to be flying this in an open space. And even then it's extremely loud. It comes ready to go. As you can see, this is the bind and fly version. This one goes straight on to the DJI receiver. Comes with a little plate on the bottom here. And that's for when you land, that touches before your props. But it doesn't always work. As you can see, it's mangled one of the props. Because you need something completely flat. If you look at the edge of that prop, it's cut that prop there. So, but you need to be something really flat for that to work. It could do with something being a bit lower than that, actually. Um, but all in all, it, it works well enough. As you can see, it's got an all-in-one board on there. And your motors are soldered and not plugged, which I like to see. I don't like the plug motors at all. Even though they are much easier to work on, I suppose. So, all up weight on this thing. Change that to the correct thing, get it into grams. So, all up weight, including the Insta 360s, 160 to take the Insta 360 off. You got 114, your frame probably weighs 10, so you could take that off if you wanted. But I obviously fly with the Insta 360, and then I'm flying this with an 850 milliamp hour beta FPV, and I just have an adapter on it. You could make it less if you wanted to chop the end off and just solder your own connections on. But these batteries unfortunately come in XD60 and not XD30. If I pop that on the scales as well, we're coming in at 275. So you can get this well under 250 if you mess around and you don't want this thing on or you don't want a 850, you could fly this on a 650. I just went for the longer time. So you could actually get it under the Magic 250 if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because I've got that many that are over 250. <laughs> it hardly matters. But so what do I think of it? So there's a load of these about, as I said, and uh, I had a, I can't remember what it was now, a 
diet on take on is it before i bought one of them and i had to send it back because it didn't work at all i bought it from a man tech and as soon as he took off in the air with it and give it any sort of response it just used to drop out of the sky um nothing was wrong in the settings obviously something wrong with the esc on the banding on it um all in one esc so that went back and it was extremely loud and similar looking thing to this and they said like i say it was a lot cheaper so this is not something you're going to buy if you want to go do flips and rolls because it's not that type of thing at all. It doesn't uh, it doesn't do anything like that very well at all. It's just meant for cruising. And for cruising, it's all right. It's quite quick, actually. You can make it go quite well if you push it, push it up forward in. But all in all, it's, quite, it's a bit underwhelming. It's not... Would I recommend it? Probably not. I'd probably look around and look at the stuff on the market. Obviously, I haven't got anything to compare it to here. Um, but for the similar type of um, quad to mess around with, I did a review, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, on I can't remember what it was now, the Transtec Beetle Mini 2 inch, and I think that flies better than this. Uh, it's a little bit more money, but it's hardly saying anything in it, maybe a tenner, and I would prefer the Transtec Mini again, so that's got a Nebula camera. How's the Transtec Mini got the Beetle got a Nebula camera? Could be wrong there actually i think it might be an actual hd camera you'd have to watch back on the video and you'll see if you watch that video i can i prefer that to this and there's another few of these out i'm going to get another one of the ones in there's an eye flight one that i like the look of that i'm going to get in to review and see what we think of that but yeah underwhelmed with this that's the best way of putting it it's not a bad quad i can't say it's rubbish i can't say anything like that about it it's a it's a decent enough stab at doing one of these little thinny whoops but it's not to me the be all it's not to me what i'd class as what i want what i'd want it's a bit it's obviously it's stable enough but you get a bit of wobble when you're coming down from so if you come down high or if you come down steep there's absolutely a load of wobble on this which i don't find on the beetle if i do the similar type of thing to that so yeah if you bought one and you're happy with it, all well and good. If you haven't bought one, I'd probably not. I'd probably give it a miss and go for something else. Couple of things I do need to show you though. This antenna here, you see where the antenna plugs in. Focus where the antenna plugs in. It when it when I got it, that was down here, and it did touch the prop when I got it. You have to pull, make sure that's pulled up and out of the way. Or you'll have a disastrous start to your first flight. Flight time's roughly about four minutes with. Um, this battery you're going to get less miles per gallon if you use a 650 so it's up to you that uh the, the frame is a complete one piece parts are available you can get these online from home fp read themselves uh, check them out on facebook because it's i don't know whether they are a new company or not or whether they're part of the transtech because when you get transtech stuff the box always says home fpv on it so i don't know whether it's just a new name for Transtech or they've just gone their own way but certainly I think they're kind of together on it. So there you go. Hope you hope you enjoyed that. I'll leave you with a um, video from the qualifier now. I'll leave you with the 10 seconds so you can see what this looks like if you've never seen one of these. I recommend these things. If you do buy one of these, I'm not doing a video on this, but if you've seen one of these before, it's an Insta360. It weighs 20 grams. I may as well do a bit quick overview on it. I've never reviewed it. It's got, it's ridiculously simple to use. It really is simple to use. It's a simple matter of push on, start, push off to stop. If you buy one of these, make sure that the latest firmware is on it so it gives you the five minute FPV flight. Otherwise you're only gonna get 30 seconds on recording because that's all it records for. It records for five minutes on the FPV mode because it's relied on the fact that you're in the air. If you're not in the air, you've got this sat on the on the ground, it's going to overheat and it will just stop recording. It's very hard, it'll, it's strong, it can survive a crash, absolutely no problem whatsoever, it can just, it'll just fly out of its mount. Uh, I really like it, you get it with, this is your charging box, so this gets charged separately, you simply get the camera you drop the camera in with the pins focus problems today with them pins lining up with those pins there drop it in it's magnetic and it will go on to charge and you can see it's charging there yellow that's indicating the battery life of this so i've got probably about 70 percent in here green was i think 75 to 100 
and then the red to show you that it's actually charging and that's how you charge the camera put it back in there leave it on connect it up to your pc or you can connect this to the end of your phone and if you own a iphone you can plug this straight in and drop it into the insta360 go app on your phone and you can edit the video from there you cannot take the video off this and put it straight onto your pc because it needs something else there's not enough uh there's not it's not the right format that you can view on your pc so you'll have to run it through there and then drop it into your editor afterwards but yeah i like it quite expensive so they come in about 170 pounds not the cheapest thing in the world but for 20 grams and you get 1080p footage i think it's only 25 frames per second but it looks decent you'll see from the uh, video got coming up the video's coming up filmed a minus one so the weather's disgusting it's very very gray out there it's now started snowing yet again and you have to bear that in mind when you look at it but you're also looking at the footage through a carrick nebula which i do not like so anyway thanks very much enough waffling have a fantastic day and i'll see you all soon with the next video